Hi, it's Claire, the food director at Chatelaine. I am thrilled to pieces to be cooking in our kitchen with the great Lydia Bastianich. We're going to talk about kitchen wisdom today. Lydia has a great new book and an amazing TV show to go with it. It's all about cooking with common sense. It is. It's the most important ingredient in the kitchen. And you can't buy it. You can't buy it. <laughs> Either you have it, but everybody has some. And I'm just kind of coax coaxing them to use it in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're going to do it with this recipe, Claire. How's okay. that? Okay. I'm excited because okay. we already you've already uh, given me some excellent advice because we couldn't find the lid to this pot. <laughs> so you just said, well, throw a pan on it. Absolutely. And it's great. Common sense. And especially if you have, you know, if you have made the sauce and whatever, you put it on top and it keeps the sauce warm, the pasta is cooking, then you can go about cleaning the Great. kitchen or whatever. Great. Okay. So the, the recipes that we're going to make, very simple. Pasta, you know, everybody loves pasta. Mm -hmm. And this one is with mushroom and ricotta, the, you know, especially in kind of in the fall. Mushrooms are good all year mm -hmm. round, but I love them in the fall, that kind of earthiness. And we're going to begin with a little bit of oil. Okay. And... Plain uh, oil. Olive oil, olive oil. Yeah. absolutely. Good. Some some garlic slices in there. Do you yes. like garlic? I adore garlic. Okay, let's go for it. And you're using it sliced? I yeah, I like sliced garlic. You're you're on duty now. Okay, oh, 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 I'm excited. <laughs> uh, I like it sliced or I like it whole and crushed. This way I get to see it. And if I want to eat it, I eat it, otherwise I can put it on the side. Right. Because chopped garlic gets all over the place and then it stays with you for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here I have all kinds of mixed mushrooms I would recommend, you know. I mean, if you don't have mixed mushroom, uh, I think one kind would just make just almost as good. Okay. But when you but mix, mix is nice. Exactly, okay. exactly. And that makes sense. Yeah, so that is kind of just golden. Yeah. And uh, and the, the, the we'll put the mushrooms in. I'm waiting a little more because okay, I wanted a little to more golden? Yeah. What do you more. Well it smells very good. Okay. And it's starting to smell garlicky. So <laughs> yeah, that always seems okay. like a good a good cue to me. All right. Okay. So you talk about uh, common sense and do you think that that people are afraid to cook? I, you know, I think you hear a lot from people, I hear at least, and you must too also mm -hmm. in, in, in your magazine, and people want uh, direction from you, they follow you, and I get, oh, I can't cook, I can't uh, go in the right. kitchen. You get that a lot. And what is it though that's keeping It's them? this insecurity, and you know, all I can tell is everybody out there is that everybody can cook. Every, you know, we all eat, okay. we all know how to handle food, and to some extent, you can prepare food. So uh, just get in the kitchen, loosen up a little bit, and you know, follow a recipe. If you follow a recipe, it gets you there quicker. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean to say that, you know, if you don't have one ingredient, you don't do it. You know, right, right. the common sense of substituting or whatever. Or even if, uh, you know, you don't like one ingredient, let's say I have scallions here, mm -hmm. you don't like scallions, put onions or whatever, you know, just the common sense of making it different. Right if you don't have or if you don't like something in the recipe. But the most important is do it. Get in right. there and cook. Do it. And then okay. I guess taste it. And taste it along like the it. way. Yeah, absolutely. That, you know, because your, your mouth is such a great apparatus and we all have it, you know. <laughs> and it tells us an awful lot. And people don't trust themselves. Well, well you know. See, I think that's key. People don't trust themselves. They think it has to look like the picture. It has to taste like my grandma made it. it, it, it but you can actually be that judge. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. they say, oh, the chef, we don't, there's no magic there. It's mm -hmm. a lot of practice, a mm -hmm. chef, this is our job. But everybody can be a chef to some extent. Mm -hmm. So uh, what flavor do I like with mushrooms? You know, here I have some great rosemary. Oh, nice. You, you know, Very I wintry. love rosemary. Yeah, and, you know, chop it fine because rosemary, if it's, uh, and not too much because uh, rosemary can be intense, you mm -hmm. know. And so. I noticed that there's actually, just to go away from this recipe for a minute, that there's a recipe in the book that's just rosemary and pasta. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and those are, and those are, those are the, the, exactly the recipes that uh, I tell the viewers mm -hmm. or, or your readers to try. Go to the simple one, the one that mm -hmm. has maybe five ingredients or less. Mm -hmm. Pasta is always uh, a winner because, you know. Everybody loves it. Loves it. And it's, you know, pot of salted water. Just don't overcook it. Okay, which, okay. which, which, <laughs> which you should know. probably look at this. Okay, again, how do I know when the pasta is cooked? Taste it. Okay. You pull, uh -oh. you pull one out. Okay, okay. Did, you, did you get it? Okay. Okay, take your time. Yeah, you can, you know what you were doing? You put it right on the, on, mm -hmm. on the, on the thing. Mm -hmm. A few more minutes or are we okay? It's good, it's ready. Okay. It's nicely um, salted, you know, so it already has good flavor. So while we're on the pasta, yes. when you cook pasta, 
make sure that the water is boiling. Mm -hmm. Salt it to your liking, you know, not, not, that's, that's, uh, not over salting and around, so, but you have to put a little bit of salt because otherwise the pasta is flat. flat. Do not put oil in pasta cooking water. Absolutely not. Where do you think that started? Who started doing that? I, I don't know who <laughs> got that bright idea. But the oil kind of, you know, coats the pasta mm -hmm. and then the sauce doesn't adhere to the pasta. Mm -hmm. okay. And also, same, same family of advice, don't ever rinse the pasta, right? No, because, you know the old saying, throw the pasta to the wall, if it sticks, it's good? Mm -hmm. Well, because it has that little starchiness, the sauce adheres to it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you rinse it, there goes yeah, that little, yeah. okay. Was your secret so, ingredient. Okay, so that's scallions. Uh, you, I like Green scallions. Onions. I'm yeah. going to put them all in. Oh, that's okay. very nice. Yeah, right. okay. So you're not going to, you know, you, often you start a pasta sauce with onions as a, and you kind of soften them up quite a bit. You know, the freshness, okay. I, yeah, okay. the, the scallions. Now, uh, to, to, to just make a little bit of sauce here, again, that pasta water is mm. such, a, such a kind of help in the kitchen, especially when you're making pasta. You take the pasta water and you just make the sauce out of it. You know, people say, oh, gee, I, I need, I need uh, stock or I need this gra gravy. No, yeah. pasta water will do. You have enough flavoring in here, that, that will make the... And this is vegetarian as well, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Now, if you want to increase the flavors here, what I would have done mm -hmm. is, you know, take a sausage oh, and take it, take it yes, out of the yes. casing, crumble it up, and let it caramelize first. You can do that with bacon too. So this is how you know you increase or decrease recipes and, and so on. Okay. Now a lot of your recipes come from a specific region of Italy. Is this something that has a very clear origin, or is it just something that tastes good? Uh, no, I actually you know cook from all the regions. Okay. I think the beauty of Italian cuisine, you know, Italy has 20 regions, is precisely that mm -hmm. the regionality of the food. And you know, uh, Italy is uh, maybe like California, less smaller, and yet the, there's 20 regions, and yet the, the, the cuisine is so diverse in every region because of the climate, the topography, the history, who occupied right, when, right, who left right, what, right. what flavors. Right. So I, I cook through, uh, throughout the region. I go, I come from Friuli Venezia Giulia, which is a northeastern region. So I would say, you know, the ricotta in pasta mm -hmm. goes back quite a few hundred years, I would say even a thousand, mm -hmm. because Italy only got the tomatoes after the New World, you know? Right. So tomatoes pasta only came after. Before that, it was a lot of cheese, bacon, ricotta. Sure. That's how they would dress right. their pasta. Right. So and because it's fresh, would that determine what part of the country it was from? No, ricotta is Everywhere. all over because what happens is that the north of Italy has a lot of pastures, so you have cows. Okay. So you have cows ricotta, cows cheese, butter, Southern Italy, very hilly, not so many pasture, sheep. So you have pecorino, sheep's milk. You know, on the north you have the, the grana padano, the big, big kind of cow's milk. South you have the pecorino, the sheep's milk. So the ricotta would follow suit because ricotta is made from the whey that's left after making the cheese. Right. So in the south they would have, uh, so why don't you fish out, they would have the, the, and I like to put my pasta right in the sauce. There you go and a little bit undercooked. So this way the pasta takes in. Okay, I think that's... A little more or is that enough? Uh, are you hungry? I'm always hungry for pasta. I'll put a little more. <laughs> okay, good, that's, that's perfect. Mm, looks great. And uh, I, I'm looking at it, you know, we put a little bit of oil, just a little bit more condiment. I like to use my oil towards the end, not cook it too much, so that you retain the maximum of flavor. I, that is, I, I've said this before, I'll say it again, the great, one of the great lessons I've learned from you is to add certain ingredients at the end. And, and I would just interrupt myself there to say you are such a great teacher. Um, who were your teachers in the kitchen? Well, you know, uh, I guess grandma yeah. and mother, and then along the way, you know, I think that um, if you really uh, get into your art or profession, whatever, you need to work with people whose work you admire. Wow. So along the way, I work with many chefs, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I picked up from them. So now, okay. we're going to put a little bit of parsley we like, right? I love. Okay. We can lower a little bit the temperature, and I'm going to throw in some ricotta just like that. The ricotta is already doesn't need to be pre-cooked. You can mix while I do that. Okay. Go ahead. 
And it will just kind of become a coating. It, it, would, it would make the sauce. Yes. It will kind of break down a little bit. And as I said, you know, you don't have to cook it. Just let it kind of uh, break into the, into the sauce. Now, if you're a little dry, we can get a little bit more. But I think it's kind of loosening okay. up, right? We don't good. need any more of the pasta. Mm -hmm. It's creamy and delicious. It's a great idea to just use ricotta as the sauce. Yeah. Okay. Make what the ricotta. Make Did the I ricotta. Uh, I mean, this. Hey, stir a little more. You need a little more. No, no, it looks good. Look, I, I forgot there was a big. You change your mind. It was there was a big patch of it in the middle. Oh, okay. I had to All right. Corona. Great. Okay. <laughs> and then to finish it off, we'll put the grated cheese, the grated grana. Mm -hmm. I usually shut off the the. Okay the fire completely because again like olive oil yeah. uh, the grana cheese the grated cheese or pecorino is a cured product so mm -hmm. it's almost finished so if you cook it what will happen it will separate the proteins and the fats you know sometimes you get those mm. strings in mm -hmm. the pot you don't want that mm. and you want maximum flavor so you just add it at the end okay mix it up a little bit we'll plate it and I know what comes next I need a fork oh gee whiz I lost you <laughs> Okay, Claire. That's good. Okay, so let me let me let me you taste it. You taste it because this is the last before we can make okay. adjustments. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, I recommend everybody. The common sense is taste it, and if you make adjustments, this is the time. I know you like your pepper. I didn't put pepperoncino, but I could have some ground pepper here. What do you think? I would take it, but I put it on almost everything. So put some. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I love my pepper. It's and less minute wonderful. like that. It's rich. The um, you really get that hit from the grana padano, and the rosemary is quite subtle, but it's sort of there. And the creamy ricotta is. It, is it? You know, everybody loves macaroni cheese, right? They think that's comfort food. This is comfort food. This is Italian, real and comfort food. We did it food. in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as it took takes the pasta to cook, I'm gonna just kind of slide it in. Oh, lovely. Okay. And you, I mean, you've talked about that, that people can sometimes feel intimidated by cooking, but I, I, do you get the sense that people still want to cook or do they want to learn to cook? People want to cook so much. They people do. love okay. the table. People love to get together. Mm -hmm. I mean, food is just delicious and pleasurable, but it's a way of giving, of sharing, of, mm -hmm. you know, and it's a way of actually getting into people. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you sit down at the table, mm -hmm. Your defenses are down. You're taking in. You have to take food to stay alive, to nourish yourself. And so the whole body kind of relaxes. So it's a great time for family to talk, to be together. Why do you have business dinners or lunches? Or why do you propose at a meal? Because the person that you're with, you're offering a good meal, but they'll, they're, they're open, they're vulnerable. <laughs> they're, they will accept what you tell them. So, so food does a lot of, a lot of things. Now, just like that, you know, what, what, what would I do? I mean, you could put some ro rosemary uh, on top, but you know, just some, again, the green part of the... Does a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Just like that. And here we are. Where's your fork? Ready to eat. Oh, it's, it's still in use. Okay. Delicious. <laughs> should we taste? We should. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty darn good. Tutti a tavola. I'm <laughs> Thank you so much, Lydia. What a thrill. Thank you, Claire. <laughs>